Before we jump into coding the passenger class, we need to go to our form and create a list of passengers. This is the list that will contain all passengers, both seated and the ones on the waiting list. We need to create it here because the passenger class needs this list for several of the methods. Now, to easily access this list, we can create it as static. That way, we won't have to instantiate new instance of the form. In fact, we don't want to instantiate a new instance of the form each time we create a passenger object because each time the list would be empty for each passenger that we create. By making it static, we preserve the data on it and it will be current data for each passenger that we create. So I'll go to my form, I'll double click it and I'm going to create the list. So up here I will create a public static list of passengers of type passenger and I'll call it passengers. So this is my list and I don't have to instantiate it just yet, we will do it later. But you can see that it's underlined and it says that it's on inconsistent accessibility because this list is less accessible than the field FRM reservation passengers. And that's because of the passenger class. If we go to it, we have to make it public. So we have access to it in our form. So when we go to our form, now everything is okay and I am able to access this list in my passenger class or from everywhere else because it's a static list. Okay, so first let's create the properties. We need a name, seed row and seed column which is the letter A, B, C or D. So up here I'm going to start creating the properties. And the first one will be for the name, so it's going to be a string property called name. The next one is going to be an integer and it's going to be the seed row. The next one will be the seed column, which can be a string because it's basically just a letter. So it's going to be a string and I'll call it seed column or seed column, not just call, just to be clear. And we also need a property to indicate if the passenger is on the waiting list. So I'll create a property that's going to be a boolean. And I'll call it is on waiting list. And finally, we need a property that will display error messages. This one too can be static, so we can access it directly from the form class. This property will contain a series of messages such as invalid name or invalid seed or others. So I'm just going to create a public property and it's going to be static string and I'll just call it error message. So again, because it's static, I don't have to instantiate new object of passenger to have access to this particular property from our forms. Alright, next let's create the constructors. 